G'day everyone and welcome to the bush block. We're not at the bush block this time, doing something a bit different. My daughter's birthday was recently and instead of buying a present, we decided to make, make her something. So I decided to make an old school arcade machine using a Raspberry Pi board, which is a small PC board, and an Arduino for um, lighting. So I just thought I'd show you what I did and how it turned out. Hope you enjoy. So I'm just marking out this form ply for the cabinet for the arcade machine. I'm just using the back edge of the handsaw as a straight edge to scribe some lines. And I'll do that and I'll cut it out. So on the jigsaw I'm using a blade meant for cutting metal to cut out the cabinet frame. As there are finer teeth it gives a lot smoother cut and there's less sanding involved at the end after the cut's done. So I've just traced out the side of the, the arcade cabinet. I've got one there I've already cut and I used it as a template. I've just traced out another and I'm just about to cut it with the jigsaw. I've got all the components done now for the cabinet and also the sides. There's actually four pieces to the sides. Now I'll start assembly on the main frame for the cabinet. And then now I've got the basic cabinet assembled. Spin it around. I've got to cut a hole in the back for the access door in the back. And there'll be a hole cut in this front panel for the monitor. And the monitor will be mounted behind that front panel. This is where the um, controls will be mounted. So that'll be hinged there with all your joystick and buttons on here. And that's where the marquee goes, up the top. So I've just marked out the back of the cabinet, ready to cut the door out. So there's all the cabinet with all the pieces cut out. This section for the monitor, and in the back you've got the Cut out for the back door. Up top goes the marquee, so an LED light strip will go across the back here with a marquee behind perspex or acrylic sheet. And I've also just center punched the control board where all the controls and buttons will go. And that'll be hinged on this front section as well. So I'm just going to measure these buttons for the cutouts. On this panel, we're using LED buttons which actually has a smaller thread diameter than the standard push button. So 
So on there I've got about 24 millimeters. And on the standard button, I got about 27. So I've just test mounted the screen. I've just put these chocks of wood around the perimeter and this strap over the back. That's mounted nice and solid in the framework now. We spin it around and have a look. See the screen's mounted in the frame there now. I've just given the box of the arcade a bit of a quick undercoat. And I've also hinged the front control panel to give access to the back of the buttons for wiring to make it easy. And that'll just sit like that. I've also cut out spots for the speakers, a couple of control buttons up the top and some more buttons in the front. Just installed the rear access door on the cabinet. Some hinges on, I had to trim it a bit to make it fit. There we go. So we'll give access to all the components inside the arcade machine once it's done. I've decided to install an old PC fan in the back of the cabinet for cooling. Found a couple of old fans lying around in the shed. I'm just going to test, put this on the power supply and test it, see if it runs. So I've just hooked the fan up to the variable for power supply. I'll turn it on and see if it works. Oh, we got movement. Let's wind it up to about 13 volts. Yep, that's a goer. So I'll we'll probably install that in the back of the case. So I've finished most of the wiring for the, the buttons and the two joysticks. I'm working on the LED lighting component at the moment. So I've just soldered up this simple board because I want to drive more than one LED off each pin off the Arduino Uno. I have to put in some transistors so I'm not drawing too much current through each pin. So I just made up this simple PCB with some transistors and some resistors and that'll connect to the output output pins of the Arduino Uno which will drive the LEDs in a light sequence once I have it all programmed. So I just finished up wiring this circuit just putting these pins on and they plug directly into the Arduino into the pulse width outputs to control the LED lighting sequences. I've got all the wiring done now on all the lighting. I haven't got the Raspberry Pi in there yet. I've just got the Arduino sitting in there and the little board I made up with the transistors and resistors. And I've programmed the Arduino. I've just got a PC power supply in there providing 5 volts and 12 volts. 12 volts for the LEDs. I've got 5 volt power supply running the um, Arduino. So I've got to clean all that wiring up but I've still got to wire in the Raspberry Pi. But we're going to do a power up and see if our light sequencer works. These front two lights, the play one and start, they should be constantly on and I should get a light sequence in these top buttons. So we'll power it up and see what happens. I've just installed a couple of cooling fans in the back of the arcade machine. There's the PC power supply. And also just glued in this LED strip lights. This is it here. You just buy it by the meter. I think it was like $3 for 5 meters from China. So I've put that in. And I've just tested it. It all works. The only problem is I've got a noisy fan at the back there. So I'll just turn the power on and we'll see. So those are LED strips, They're very bright for the marquee, 
I've seen my buttons are all working. I've got the pattern turned off at the moment. You can turn it on or off. It'll be a bit distracting while playing the arcade, so you can just have the buttons lit while playing. And I'll just have to sort out that noisy fan at the back there. It's that bottom one. I've sorted out that PC fan there. I just gave it a little spray of this liquid lanolin, which is a non-conductive liquid to 70,000 volts. That's what it tells me anyway. I'll use it on a lot of things. It's done the job. Okay, the next part we've got to do, I've got these two speakers mounted in. So I've got to wire them up to the 12 volt volume unit. So this is it here, it's a little 12 volt amplifier. So we've got the stereo output and stereo input with a 12 volt power for it. Well there we've got the monitor in, we've got the Raspberry Pi all wired up and running. I've got that fan sorted out now, it's quiet. And I just powered it up. And we have a working arcade system. I've still got to program these buttons because I've got no insert coin control and I've got a buzz coming over the um, speakers. I'll just turn that up so you can hear that. So I'll have to sort that out. So I'm just trying to sort out this audio issue with the arcade machine. I've just tested it with some headphones and I've got no sound issues which means my problem is in this audio amplifier for the speakers so it could be a, a voltage problem, noise coming through the voltage, usually a ground but I'll try and track that down where that noise is coming from well this is the audio amplifier I just pulled out of the arcade machine, it was a cheap one from China I got online it was about $3.50 but I'll see how this one works, this came out of the speakers originally, ran on 240 volts it had this um, coil and looks like it's 240 to 12 volt so I'm gonna test run it on 12 volt DC and see how I go with that otherwise I'll try and have to filter the output of this with a filtering capacitor or something but hopefully I can get this one here working just gonna hook it up to the bench power supply and see how I go Okay, I've just wired up this bit of a test setup, found the speaker, got it powered to 12 volts and a frequency generator that I built years ago. So anyway, we'll power that up. So I've got power to the amplifier from 12 volts. Oh, got the frequency generator on. There we go, change the frequency. There we go. Seems to be working all right. We've got volume. There you go. Well, it seems to work all right on 12 volts, direct DC. So we'll put that in the arcade machine and see how we go. Okay, we've got that board all wired up. Looks a bit of a mess at the moment, but. We'll test it all out and then we'll uh, clean all that wiring up. Hopefully we've got a better sound quality now. And hopefully it works. We'll fire up and see how it goes. Oh, that sounds a lot better already. I'm playing this while looking through the camera v viewfinder. But... Oh, that's a lot better. I'll exit out of that. Well, here we go. Here's the finished arcade machine. All the lights are lit up there. You can see the marquee. I put a Perspex front over the monitor. Yeah, it's all running nicely. These green buttons here, if I push that, you see the credit. If I push the green, it's like inserting a coin. And we can select one player. We're on Mrs. Pac-Man. Just 
and all the controls are working. Yeah, so there's something different for my daughter. Instead of buying something, I thought I'd make something a bit original and old school. So there's an old, old style arcade machine. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you again next time. See ya.